New Country 97.5 WOKQ 903 here on what is turning out to be a nice election day after cooler temperatures this morning. Don Bryant in the studio, Kira Liu, uh, myself, JC Coffee, and on the phone lines with us, Madam Secretary Hillary Clinton, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me, and I'm glad it's a beautiful day in Boston. It is a beautiful day in New York, where I am. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, Secretary, thank you so much for joining us, first of all, and I know it's been a, a, a very busy year and a half, two years. It's It's been a long stretch, and I know you're, you're glad, I'm sure, that we finally reached that day. Um, you've spent a number of, of visits to New Hampshire. You were here over the weekend. What, what makes New Hampshire so special um, to this election this time around? Well, I've been going to New Hampshire uh, for many years. The first time I went to New Hampshire, I was a college student, uh, and I went to uh, volunteer in the 1968 presidential campaign, and I have loved the state. Uh, Of course, I went to college in Massachusetts, outside of Boston, and that whole area uh, is just very special to me. I've made a lot of friends. I have... uh, Lots of great memories um, of all the time that I've spent uh, in New Hampshire, of course, most intensively starting in uh, 1992 when my husband was running uh, for president. Yeah, we had the opportunity to speak with him a number of times uh, over the years, and we spoke with you in 2008. But this time around, I mean, the candidates have focused on New Hampshire, uh, paying a lot of visits politically. What's the importance? Well, politically, it's one of the so-called swing or battleground states. Uh, New Hampshire is an independent thinking and an independent voting state, uh, and I admire that. So you really have to make your case uh, to Granite Staters and be ready to answer questions, be ready to meet uh, in small groups uh, and large to talk about issues. And people in New Hampshire really take their... Uh, civic duty to vote seriously. So it's an important state, and it's a a real bellwether state. Uh, Secretary Clinton, I I have to ask you, now that we are at Election Day, uh, if elected today, four years from now, what do you think you want to be remembered for the most? I want to be remembered for three big things and lots of subcategories, but let me stick with the three big ones. (laughs) That's all right. somebody who got the economy working for everyone, not just those at the top. That's why I have a robust agenda for new jobs and rising incomes and making college affordable, which is part of my economic push. I want to be remembered as someone who kept our country safe, who showed calm and steady leadership uh, against uh, the threats and challenges we face, but also pursued and achieved opportunities uh, for America in the world. And finally, I hope to be remembered as someone who uh, began to help heal our country, to overcome these divides and, you know, this uh, you know, very unfortunate, uh, you know, feeling that a lot of people have that, you know, this election was uh, very, uh, very much filled with uh, nastiness and negativity and I want us to come together to meet these goals. And so I hope in in four years, if I have been fortunate enough to serve as president, um, people will say, hey, we've made progress. And, you know, I like to, to joke that I'm a list maker. I think it's a kind of woman thing. You know, we all make lists and lists <laughs> and lists. And I want to make that list and go down and do as much as I can to you know, really empower people to make the most out of their own lives. Well, I know, and speaking of making lists, our co-host, my co-host, Kira Liu, has speaking of women. <laughs> made a long list, but I know we only have a couple minutes with you, as your people are telling me. So I'll pick uh, my favorite question. Yeah, your favorite question, Kira, for, for Madam Secretary. Secretary Clinton, you have been the first lady of our country. Um, if you do get elected to be our next president, what will your husband's title be? Will it be first gentleman? This has been uh, all oh. over social media, and everyone's been asking this question. Everyone has a different answer. <laughs> You know what? I am taking uh, nominations for uh, that. now. <laughs> so you're saying it's up probably, for debate. Yeah, it is. I think probably First Gentleman is uh, uh, the, the most uh, likely outcome. But I'll tell you some of the other suggestions. First Dude. First Dude. Uh, yeah, First Dude. 
Uh, then there's a great idea of First Laddie, L A D D I E. Like, oh, uh, yeah. you know. that sounds proper. <laughs> Play on First Lady. Uh, but, you know, I- I'm just uh, really grateful that he's been uh, so uh, incredibly helpful in this campaign, as he will be if I'm so fortunate enough to win, because he knows a lot about creating jobs. And, you know, that's the number one priority that we've got on our agenda. Whatever we refer to him as, he's on your side. Yeah. Madam yeah, Secretary, that's exactly right. we know you have a very busy day today. I want to thank you for coming on with us this morning and uh, wish you the best of luck today. And, of course, uh, have a wonderful day. I know it's busy, and we'll let you go. Thank you so much. And please thank call tomorrow. Thank you, and I hope all your listeners get out and vote, please. It's really important today. Thanks a, a lot. Absolutely. All right. Madam Secretary okay, Hillary Clinton, bye-bye. Want to be that song? Brett Eldridge right now, 30 Minutes of New Country on 97.5 WOKQ.